I'm one of those unfortunate people who get really painful period cramps and they're so painful that uh, they also uh, cause me to vomit some months. Uh, so to get around that, I have figured out that a cup of spearmint tea once a day takes away the pain and all those other symptoms. Um, I had tried you know, using birth control to take care of the pain and the vomiting, and it did take care of the vomiting, but the pain was still there. So to manage the pain, I drink that one cup of spearmint tea once a day. Uh, it's probably not necessary to drink it every single day. If you don't wanna drink it every day, you could start with 30 days, see if that helps, and then cut back maybe three weeks or two weeks, one week, Generally speaking, I, I think that one week before your period, if you're drinking a cup of spearmint tea once a day, uh, it's going to be helpful for uh, eliminating the pain. Uh, if you have your period and it's still painful, um, maybe you forgot to take the tea a couple days before or something, it's okay, just take another, make a cup of the spearmint tea and take it, and in a couple of hours it will help. Um, it won't be as good as if you'd taken it beforehand, but it'll still be therapeutic. It'll still help. Um, you can also apply heat to your tummy, um, the area where it's painful. Uh, you can use just an electric heat pad or one that you can microwave, you know, like a neck wrap that you can microwave. You can set across your lap and that'll help with the pain too. You can take a hot bath, but sometimes that helps too. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple different ways to prepare the tea. Um, hopefully one of these might work for you or be convenient for you. I drink loose leaf tea. Um, I usually buy it in bulk like this and then I put it in a little airtight jar like this. And each morning I just take a pinch and place it into this uh, filter. This filter came from a personal sized teapot that I bought when I was living in Japan. Um, that's how I kind of got into the habit of drinking tea every day, but green tea has a lot of caffeine in it, so I switched to different herbal teas in the afternoon and settled on spearmint tea because I really liked the taste, and I noticed that it was uh, the only thing I had changed in my diet and lifestyle, and my, I wasn't having any period cramps. Um, so this works for me. I, I hope it works for you too. Um, if you don't want to mess with a loose leaf filter like this, you can uh, just buy a box of bagged spearmint tea and put it in your mug. Um, that's fine. One cup a day will do it. You can also buy a supplement, but these are more expensive. And if you take the tea this way, or the spearmint leaves this way, you're, you're eating the entire leaf. And so you might be burping up that taste of spearmint throughout the day, and if you don't like that, then I, I would just avoid this. But this is a good backup if you just don't wanna drink tea. You can also chill it and drink it cold. It doesn't have to be a hot tea. Um, I have tried using this kind of loose leaf tea contraption I bought in an American store. Um, there's just so many problems with this design. It, it The little flap here comes loose very easily, which easily causes the tea to spill out. And even when it is closed, it's not a tight seal, so the tea leaves are slipping through the edges of this ball. And then this little dangly chain, which is meant to help you pull the tea out, it's so flimsy that often it just falls into the cup and you're having to reach into the cup to get this thing out. So I don't think these are very useful or helpful and they're more difficult to clean than just a plain tea insert. I'm sure you can find these inserts online. Um, you know, I used to, actually have the teapot here with this insert and I would pour the tea into my mug but these days I just skip that step and just put it right into my mug um, and it fits really nicely and then afterwards you can just pull it out easy to dump out and rinse and use the next day uh, so those are my tips uh, for helping with uh, period cramps uh, I hope it's helpful for you um, I don't I'm not a doctor I, I don't know why this works for me um, people probably get period cramps for all different types of reasons, um, and I don't know why I get them. Uh, I am completely healthy, I don't have any health conditions that would cause this, um, but uh, what I mean is, even though this is helpful to me, it might not end up being helpful to you because you might be getting period cramps for a different health reason. Um, but, you know, try it. If, you know, this is an herbal supplement, so obviously check with your doctor before starting any new 
herbal supplement, it might interfere with medication that you might be taking and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah, if you don't like the taste of spearmint tea at all, another tip is to just add a black tea bag to the tea and drink it, you know, drink your black tea with a pinch of spearmint in it. Or you could make a cup of coffee and add the leaves to uh, your filter um, uh, when you're adding the coffee and you probably won't even taste the mint part of it in there, but it's in there um, and uh, helping you. And it also, you know, this is an herb, so it's it's full of antioxidants too. So it's uh, beneficial in, in a couple of ways for your body. Um, so try it out, see if you can get away with only drinking it, you know, one week a month. Um, I just add it to my rig, whatever tea I'm drinking in the morning, I add a pinch of spearmint to it, and that's like my medication. <laughs> um, good luck. I hope, I hope it makes you feel better.